What's crack a lacking, guys? Welcome to your next Facebook tutorial where we're going to optimize some of our code. Uh, but before we do that, let's just go into our main.xml file, copy a button that we created, and we're going to work with friends here pretty soon. Not in this tutorial, but we're just going to change this to button to, and we're going to say friends because obviously we want to go into our friends and uh, set that up. All right, so. What we're going to talk about in today's tutorial specifically is async runner. What's happening is we're running on the same thread as our GUI or graphic user interface. So when we make a post, what it does is it interacts with the Facebook server. And what, what happens is we're working with our GUI thread or our main applications thread. So when we make these processes, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. And if it takes more than five seconds to accomplish this, it's going to crash our application because it seems like you know it's running too slow or it's taking too long and the Android uh, OS is going to just be like wow this was programmed terribly let's just kill this application because it's wasting too much uh, memory so what we're going to do instead is create an async runner which separates or creates a different thread than our graphical user interface thread and that other thread or that async runner is going to handle the request to the Facebook server so our application won't s crash if that thread doesn't you know accomplish its task or if it takes too long because it's a completely different thread and it's not going to affect our application so let's go into our starting place uh, class here so let's create a new variable and this is going to be a async Facebook runner um, so just click that and then we're going to call this our async runner and it's pretty easy to set up after we set up our Facebook object here all we have to do is set up our, our async runner to equal a new async uh, Facebook runner and we just have to give it our Facebook object and that will set up our runner for us and it's as simple as that to set up our async runner uh, for our application now we can make requests to Facebook and for example if we want to request all of our friends uh, that the user or the user of our applications friends we can do that with the async runner it's not gonna you know kill the thread of our graphical user interface so because obviously that might take a take a while to get all of our friends you know and it might crash your application so we're gonna make that request with the async runner which we'll probably do in the next tutorial uh, this tutorial just kinda sets up the basic stuff for that and also what we're gonna do instead is create a new class with static variables of our Facebook uh, objects and also our async runner because you're probably going to want to access the Facebook SDK within different activities of our our package here that we have set up. So let's create a new class that's going to hold some of these static variables. So we're going to say a new class and we're just going to call this utility and uh, save that. And then within our utility class what we're going to do is just set up a Facebook object, call it FB, and set up a uh, async runner or Facebook async sync runner and we're going to also call this async runner at our imports and now what we're going to do is go back to our starting point class and instead of creating a new object here and here we're going to refer to these static variables which we should probably say static uh, Facebook variable static uh, async runner uh, maybe just for convention public static as well alright so now we have those variables set up so within here now what we're gonna do is just refer to our utility class dot Facebook and same with all the other calls that we make to the Facebook object and this way we can just easily whoops uh, we can just easily access this information from any class that that we create from here on out because all we're doing is setting up those static variables and if you guys have programmed before you know this isn't really a big deal you are probably like why are we even going over this um, but it's just a efficient way to code and it's also the way that uh, the Facebook example package gives you so just go throughout your whole code here and each time it refers to the FB object we're going to put utility dot in front of it and also for async uh, runner but I think we've already got all those so let's 
So uh, I know it's kind of a lame tutorial, but we got all the basic stuff that we need set up here. And we might as well set up that new button that we created for friends as well. So we're going to say friends and set up our button reference so, and set our visibility as well. So I know it's kind of, like I said, boring tutorial, but, but uh, sometimes they have to be boring, all right? Friends set visibility button dot visible and lastly down here friends dot set visibility button dot invisible all right so that's pretty much it for this tutorial again all we did is talked about the async runner set up our new button for friends and also we set up our utility class which has static variables so any other activity we create we can relate to the same Facebook uh, object so thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial hope you're having a fantastic week and uh, catch you later